Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Burizno. Now, when we left off, we were the Marshal of the Valahir Clan, but as one of you mentioned, our controversy has probably risen rather considerably, and so I have, well, resigned the Marshalship, and as you can see here, in honor of our valiant efforts on behalf of the realm over the last 11 days, he offers you a purse of 2,300 dinars. That's actually pretty nice, I have to admit. So... Without further ado, we are going to be heading on to Alnar Castle, because of course that is where Lady Ella is, and we will be obviously pursuing her once again. Now, oh, it does appear as though one of our Valahir clan friends was released from captivity, which is good. Very nice to see that we have another body on the battlefield, and hopefully the Zan Dynasty will not take Alberk Castle, because if they do, then we are going to be... Well, probably having quite a few issues, so let us visit Lady Ella. And there we go. Okay, so, yes, on our way here, I did scout out Alberk Castle. It has 12 units there, so I can only assume the force of 157 from the Zan Dynasty is going to have a very easy time of it. However, I'm hoping that Queen Trisna, who is also in the garrison at Arndal, is going to, well, let's just say intervene. Maybe that would be the case, but yes, there we go. How happy I am that you could come. And we are now going to ask her... Ah, I don't have any other poetry to recite, unfortunately. Shall we ask her this? Perhaps I can persuade you? No, it's not going to happen. We only have 12 relation. So hopefully she will send us another letter to arrive there within 30 days. And we'll be able to get yet another relation point. Hopefully that will be the case anyway. So, as you can see here, yes, fortunate. Huh, how can I see these Volhir Raiders? That is rather peculiar. But, I suppose, yes, it does appear as though you can actually see a couple of units on the battlefield, and others you cannot. So, maybe it's just for ease of use, perhaps. Okay, wait a minute, we're going to go down here, I think. We can actually cross over here, which is pretty good. And Ismarala Castle is no longer under siege, which is very good. I like that a lot, okay. And yes, the Zen Dynasty have taken Alberk Castle from Makavia. Very strange that Queen Trisna did not want to intervene there. I'm pretty sure that she could probably take them on with 70 Divine Aethlings. I do think that she would have a very good chance of it. There's Aethling Rajir, so he's going to definitely be doing things such as looting. Uh, looting is not really going to assist us that much, is it? And, ah, there we are, the Alberk Castle... Siege has begun, and that's definitely not going to happen. Maybe we could actually take McCann. That would be quite the decisive blow against Makavir, and if we could defend it and hold on to it, I think we'd have a very good chance of destroying Makavir from the inside out. Oh, my. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Agathor Krex is here, but that is it. He's the only strong one, as far as I can tell. Okay, go on. Do battle. Oh, it appears they're just heading back in there. Okay. Well, that's not likely at all either, because as you can see, it has 456. We do have a Zan Vanguard here who is pursuing a <laughs> Mechavian battle. And now we can increase Kara's strength ever more, get her a little bit more in Weapon Master as well. And there we have it. Very nice. Anyone else leveled up? Yes, we do have a couple of these fellows here. We're going to level them up into Maiden Recruits and then get a more hardened Drengars there as well. Now, one of you did actually state in the comments that female assassins are not as good as Viragos. So we are going to be leveling this Sword Sister up into a Virago and we'll see where that leads. And hopefully it will be rather cool. And now what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm actually going to try to get these two into combat here. Ah, I was only able to get the one. I'm not a big fan of that, actually. I'm going to let him go, I think. And Drahara and Hakon have made peace. Not bad. Ah, Agathor Krex might be leaving, but 456? I don't think we can probably deal with that too easily. Maybe we could take Curin Castle instead? Yeah. It does appear as though Makavir is rather well defended. Goodness me. Okay, yes, we'll accept that. Why not? Ah. Okay, let's just take a look here at their composition. Do they have anything that we are afraid of? Yes and yes. 
So no. <laughs> okay, you know, we're not going to go over there. Let's check out Yelbeggy, maybe? Oh, we're heading way too deep into Maccavian territory, I think. Ah, Lord Jormungand of Maccavia has been taken prisoner by the Zand Dynasty. Good to see that, and... Yes, now, one of you did state that the reason why very small parties are attempting to engage upon us is because of our level and our win ratio. Now, the win ratio that we have is, I would assume, pretty reasonable, but apparently not, because everyone and their mother wants to attack us, so... Yeah, not entirely pleased about that, I have to admit. Now, they don't have any heavy marksmen stationed here, so I think this is probably the best chance we have of taking anything of the Maccavians. Are we at war against anyone else, though? Let's have a look here. We're at war against the Hakon, so maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe we should head off to... Oh. Okay, they're quite far away, which may be the reason why I have not ventured over there before. But I will be doing that because I think it would be rather fun to fight a different unit for once. So I'm going to be making my way over there, and hopefully we'll find a castle that is... Well, let's just say, an adequate target. Okay, so on my way to Jamayed Castle, which is what I had selected to scout, as you can see by these markings here, I had to avoid some bandits, Nibor's bandits to be precise. Now, as you can see, I've come across these Perisnoan ruins, and I'm thinking maybe we'll head in here. I'm not entirely sure what is within it, because I have not seen this before at all. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize there were places like this in the mod, but... Wow, okay. You come to a seemingly abandoned fort, a relic of the past belonging to the old Perisnoan Empire. Are we going to enter? Oh my. Okay, I'm all by myself here. Oh my, let's get our shield out just in case we are sniped. Who knows? Can I bring up the battle map? No, I cannot, and that reminds me I probably need to get a bit more athletics. I'm a little bit slow here. Oh no. Okay, let's try to survive this, shall we? Now, is there actually anything here, or am I imagining things? Hmm. Well, I'm heading straight on, because that is where I was positioned when we loaded in, so hopefully there will be something over this ridge here? Ah, maybe this is unfinished. This might be a feature that is a little unfinished in the mod, and maybe in 0 0.7 it will have a little bit of content. Maybe I am just completely missing things here. I probably am, to be honest. That would be really disappointing if I couldn't find what it was that was in this environment. Ah, maybe it's up here? Okay, if there's nothing up here, then I will exit and we'll just head on to Jamiad Castle instead. But, yes, it does have a lot of potential, this particular area here. No, it does not appear as though I'm able to find it. But, by all means, if one of you knows if there is anything here, then let me know in the comments. And I'm actually refusing to believe that there isn't anything here, but maybe I'm just missing it. I think I probably am just missing it, which is a great disappointment. But nevertheless, there we have it. And oh, am I not able to leave? Oh, cannot leave now, it says. Ah, <laughs> Okay, well, it appears I will have to move to the edge of the map to be able to leave, so I will be doing that. Okay, so I ventured to the very edge of the map, and that took quite a bit of time, but thankfully enough, we now are outside, and as you can see here, we have some Onishi- Oh, no. No, 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 don't engage us. Zan Kamikaze Warriors and Onishi herself, or himself? Hmm, not entirely sure, but still. Hopefully, we will not be- Engaging them. Look at this! Five units are attempting to engage upon us. This is just... Uh, it's pretty pathetic, actually, that I am being engaged upon by these guys. Oh my goodness, really? Okay, I'm actually... Uh, no, I'm not going to pay. Uh, okay, well, let's do this. 139 versus... Yeah, 33. I have so many cavalry, let's just charge in here and do as much damage as we can in a very short space of time. Because, goodness knows, being engaged upon by a load of sand walkers and having them be, well, let's just say, not exactly prime units is a little insulting, to be honest, and I'm not entirely sure why that is, but I suppose win ratio, as one of you stated, does have an effect on it, and I'm not entirely sure, but I thought we actually won quite a few battles, so 
Maybe, <laughs> maybe something's going on there, who knows. So let's just take these guys out as quickly as we can, and I'm not entirely sure whether I'll even take some of these guys prisoner. Don't know whether it's really worth it. I'm not sure how much they sell for, after all, but yes. Thankfully enough, we do have a large amount of cavalry, and they will be able to deal a significant amount of damage to take them all out. There we are. Three morale was our reward there. We get some Prisoner Pilgrims, which I suppose isn't all bad. We can take some of these because we do have a large Prisoner's Hold anyway. And there it is. Shall I take any loot? Okay, I'll take a little bit of loot. It's not really worth it, but still. Okay, so let's have a look at Samara Castle here. Aha! Okay, 217. Now, what else do they have? They have some Hakon Legionnaires and Mercenary Cataphracts. They are the only things that I'm a little bit afraid of, as well as the Hakon Sharpshooters. So, let's see. Make sure everyone's leveled up appropriately, and now let's head in. Besiege the castle, and it is a ladder castle. Very nice indeed. Now, that's Onishi, isn't it? Ah, okay, well, yeah. I do actually think this is going to be a rather significant defeat. And if it is, then this episode will be ending off very, very soon, but I'm hoping that we will be able to put up a good fight. So, as he says here, I have been ordered by the Mandate of Heaven, the uniter of the Shunhar, Kurja, and Sain, to destroy everything in this pitiful continent. Sadly, I think you are a part of it. What a joke, Scout says, oh my. So, we have 141, they have 120, but as you know, they have Zan Kamikaze Warriors. And that is definitely something I am not too pleased about seeing. However, I do believe they don't have shields. If I am correct about that, then I think we might have a chance. Oh my. That looks rather intimidating, I have to admit. Okay, let's get all our units up here really quickly and I'll see whether I can distract these guys. Thankfully enough, I don't believe they have... Archery? Do they? Do they have archery? I'm not entirely sure, but thankfully enough, we do seem to be decimating them with our cavalry units, but... No doubt they're going to be absolutely massacring my HP bar, that's for sure. So let's see what we can do. Oh my. Something tells me I think we might be in over our heads here. Oh no, okay. We're doing some damage, we're doing some damage. We're able to take some of them prisoner. And look at how many units there are. My recording is going to be very slow motion here, but it does appear as though we are surviving. We might actually... Survive this with any luck. Oh my, my horse is maybe not going to survive, but hopefully I will. Come on, deal some damage. New enemies have arrived already. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, I suppose it's okay because we are dealing more damage to them than they are doing to us. Kara was taken out, unfortunately, but I suppose she did her job, and we do seem to be pushing through now, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to order our infantry to stand back a little bit. Ah, never mind, okay. Yeah, they'll just go in, and hopefully our archers will see fit to deal as much damage as they can. Come on, we need to do this. We need to prevail, otherwise this is, well, going to be rather painful, to say the least. Come on, take out that guy. Ah, only 62 damage. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But we are able to take a huge amount of these guys prisoner. I think I am probably going to be dying soon, although I do have my Aegis still available to protect me, but... Ow. Okay, yes. As I said, yes, but... I was just going to say, as soon as I lower it, I'm probably going to be dying. And there it is. So... No! Do you see that? Our one and only Sword Sister was taken out. Ah, so we will never be able to find out whether... Ah, that unit was really, really good and I wanted to see their stats. No! Okay, well... We have defeated Onishi, which hopefully we'll be able to take prisoner. And there's Dahosan. Is that Dahosan? It does appear to be him, so let's just hope that our archers will be able to take this guy out. He is wearing some very heavy armor after all, and oh, he's turning around! That is brave of him. Come on, Dahosan, you can do this. Yes, oh, never mind, it wasn't Dahosan, it was a Drahara Desert Assassin. Goodness me. There it is, 30 renown, 38 morale, very nice indeed, but... We lost 30 units in the process, and many of them were Ilika Falki units, which I am very disappointed to lose, that is for sure. And, of course, our one and only Sword Sister as well fell by the wayside. And, of course, only she was able to escape. That is so, so sad. But, 
we were able to capture 10 kamikaze warriors, which I hope will be able to reimburse me for the fact that we lost so many Illikafalki, and I'll be able to recruit them from Voldeberg when I arrive back there. So, let's level up Faziel, shall we? Let's get another point in Weapon Master, I think, and then level up his crossbowmanship, and that should be fine. And then we will level up to Hosen as well. He has 28 in Charisma, which is absolutely amazing. I suppose that's why he has 7 in Persuasion. Oh, no, never mind. Persuasion is Intelligence now. Yes, it is. So, let's see. What do we want here? We probably want to get him some more Athletics. So, let's increase his Agility, get some more athletic skill. There we are. That seems good. And then we can just increase some of our other units here. Okay, there we go. Very nice indeed. And now, shall we head on to Samara Castle or are we too weak? I think we are probably too weak at the moment, but what I will be doing is just heading out here and waiting for some time in camp. Now, this is a very dangerous thing to do because people can engage upon you and then you'll be in camp and none of your cavalry units will have any horses or as far as I'm aware that is the case because I do seem to remember that that was the case in Britain Warder anyway and I'm not entirely sure whether that's the same here but as you see here we have a real-time event while traveling your party comes across a small cottage with an adjoining garden although there is fish cooking over a fire out front nobody seems to be here raid the cottage ignore the cottage and leave a small bag. Yes, we're going to leave the small bag. We gain some honor. Very nice. We need all the honor we can get. And these guys are continuing to be rather irritating. And now we have a vassal with 246 units. No! That is not good. Okay, we're going to head over here to the nearby town and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see whether that is a little more appealing, perhaps. I just didn't want to head in there when we only had 100, well, actually no, 15% HP, and I wanted to be 100% HP, but wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Shall we take these guys on? They have 85 prisoners. That is incredible. I think we might take these guys on, shall we? Are most of our units prepared for battle? Some of them are, some of them aren't. Hmm. Let's see, we have 102 ready for battle. Ah, okay, we'll leave those for now. We'll just go over here and see whether we can scout Desiuk, and we'll see. Ah, nope. <laughs> A little bit too much. 490 plus vassals there. Ah, I really wanted to take that other castle back there, but 426 units is definitely going to stop us. Ah, okay, so let's try and find those Desiuk slaves once again. Or slavers, shall we say. And... We will hopefully be able to rescue some prisoners. Okay, so we have caught up finally to the Adesiuk Slavers, and they are exactly the same party as well. Thankfully enough, they traveled in an exact straight line from where we were previously, so I was able to catch up relatively quickly. Thankfully, they ran into some trees as well, which of course caused us to be able to catch up no problem at all. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's get some infantry units out the front, get some archery units back here, and the cavalry to the side. Unfortunately, it does appear as though they are going to just charge us head-on, which is a little disappointing, I have to admit, but I will be able to take out one of them very easily indeed, and hopefully our other units will have just as good luck with taking them out. Wow, I actually do pretty reasonable damage now. Not bad. Okay. There we are, jump and smash right there. Very, very cool. And I'll send in our infantry as well. Oh, it does appear as though they have a lot of slaves under their command. That's probably why they were running away from us. They did not have the unit caliber capable of taking us out. But that just gives us a load of rescued prisoners available, so I'm very pleased about that, that is for sure. And come on, let's try to prevent this Ilikafalki ranger from being taken out. Yes, there we go. Thank you very much, infantry. You are now supporting us. Take these guys out as well. We do seem to be able to take a large amount of prisoners as well. So, we're going to be turning into slavers, apparently, yes. <laughs> well, we won't be using slaves, that's for sure. We'll just be selling them on, I suppose. And getting a pretty tidy profit in the process. There's Tylan doing an excellent job. And Slyter was actually able to get a kill, but unfortunately he was taken out by one of their Elvary riders. 
Come on, take him out. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so they only have seven enemies remaining. And then we should be able to claim our rightful reward of a large amount of very, very impressive prisoners that they currently have. And there it is. Victory is ours. Okay, six renown and 20 morale. Not bad at all. And as you can see, we have gained this. Hakon Inquisitors. Oh yes, we're taking those, that is for sure. Hakon Crossbowmen, not as good as Maccabean Crossbowmen at the moment, at least. Prisoner Pilgrim, let's see what else we have here. Hakon Horsemen, Heavy Footmen. Let's take some Heavy Footmen. Maccabean Heavy Crossbowmen, Marksmen. Anything else we have here? Draken Kriegers? No. Okay, Maccabean Swordsmen should be okay. A Spearman. Oh yes, Tauranian Kingsguard, I like those a lot. Anything else we have here? Veteran horsemen? We could take another horseman. We have quite a few cavalry units, after all. And I think we probably want to take these peasant women. And I think we'll take these caravan guards, even though I'm not entirely sure how useful they're going to be. But they do become mercenary shock cavalry, so I suppose it's not all bad. And we'll take some of these slavers to sell. Veteran slaves, train slaves, Amazon warriors, caravan guards... Elvery Archer, not bad. And then we will let the rest of the Desiuk slaves go, as well as a couple of these rescued prisoners too. So there we have it. Very nice. We have filled out our army capacity as well as our prisoners hold capacity. So I am very pleased with that, as well as our inventory, as you can see here. Full inventory. Very nice. And let's see. Anyone else can level up? I do like Herseers above Huskars because they are a little bit well armored in comparison. But, yeah, that's quite a bit better, I think. And let's see here. Prisoner and monks. We have some clerics now instead. And we can now improve these peasant women as well. Mercenary shock cavalry. Very, very cool. And there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll travel back to Volderberg. And, well, we'll sell our prisoners and we'll see how much profit we have gained. Okay, so while I was rejuvenating at Volderberg just before I place a couple of units in the garrison, as you can see, we have now received an additional letter from Lady Ella, and we will be visiting her once again. Now, as you see here, thankfully enough, ah, well, actually not thankfully enough, but I was hoping to be able to take one of the Hakon fiefs before we made peace, but it does appear as though the Valier clan and the Hakon Empire have made peace, but Makavir is still at war with us, so they are definitely going to be having quite a few issues there. And now, let's have a look here. Masnerian Knights, that is exactly why I was rejuvenating, because I do want to place some of our units in the garrison here, and hopefully we'll be able to take those Masnerian Knights instead. So, let's lose some of these Drengars, I think. There we are, we'll lose eight of those, and then we'll see how many we gain here. Four. Aha. Okay, so five, technically. Three thousand... Oh, my. Yeah, we'll take them. Okay. We have quite a lot of money, and I think we should be gaining quite a lot from selling our prisoners here. As you can see, 80 each for those. 266. 416 each for those. That was 4,000. Very nice indeed. And then we have 204. 100. 300 for that. Very nice. 66. And then 150 per slave. Wow. We should have taken more of those. Goodness me. Okay, that's very nice. And we have some Misnerian Knights now, which are even better. Okay, well, there it is. That will be the end of this episode of Prisno. And next time on Prisno, we'll be heading over to Anar Castle, speaking to Lady Ella once again, increase our relation ever more, and then we will hopefully be sieging a particular castle of the Maccabeans, because at the moment, it does appear as though the Zan Dynasty is attempting to encroach on our territory-expanding expeditions here. So that will not do one bit, will it? And hopefully we'll be able to take Arndal. If Queen Trisna is not there or is otherwise occupied, then I think we'll have a very good chance. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.